What is up YouTube? How you doing? Adam here and I am back for another video. Now this is a little bit something different for me but I wanted to put this video out for a number of reasons. The main reason being is that I've always been put off of this particular type of product by what seems like a whole world of wizardry and complications and difficulties and, uh, and a huge amount of required knowledge in order to make them work. Now as you guys know, I'm a big fan of Apple products and the main reason for that is because I just take them out of the box and they just work. If there's a problem, I just take it back, they give me another one, I carry on. I never have to fiddle around inside boxes, pulling cables around, I don't have to do any of those things, changing chips and all of this kind of stuff. It just works, it's effortless and it's easy. And that is really because of the lack of time that I have with family and businesses and everything else to be able to commit to anything. Now 3D printers to me have always looked like something that's hugely exciting. And yes, I know you're all saying, Adam, wow, how late to the party are you? Yes, I am. But like I say, the reason for that is because they've always put me off with what looks like a whole bunch of complexity and like learning experience and a lot of time looks like it needs to be invested in order to be able to kind of get one up and running and working and, and all those kinds of things. Now recently Anchor Make reached out to me and said about doing a video on their M5 3D printer. And at first I was fairly hesitant because I know nothing about 3D printing. And I thought, hang on a sec, let's have a look at this a little bit closer. So when I started looking, it almost looked like they're trying to make that kind of product that is very, very simple to get up and running. It's on an app, it's all nice and easy, and everything's very, very simple to use. Uh, you can get it with the filament, everything is easy. Like I don't have to learn anything. I don't have to know about what the different filaments are. I don't have to know about leveling plates and all these other things. And you'll have to forgive my insufficient knowledge on 3D printing. But I, in the end I said, okay, well this looks like maybe it could be something that would apply to me. I.e. something that's very simple to get up and running that I don't need to go and watch a thousand YouTube videos in order to be able to learn and in order to be able to use. And it's funny because several years ago I bought my dad a 3D printer when he retired. And he spent ages looking into it. How does he do this? How does he do that? Now he's 70 so obviously it takes him a little bit longer. But even still, he got it up and running, he got it all working, he absolutely loves that thing. And in fact, he's gone on to do CNC machines and 3D woodworking and all these other kinds of things. So I know that they can be useful. It was just that initial investment in knowledge that kind of put me off. So anyway, Ankermake sent me out this printer. Comes very beautifully presented, even comes with a little toolbox. Everything you need is inside the box and ready to go. You quite literally take it out, put it all together and it took me no more than five minutes to get this thing up and running. Now, I put it all together, you connect it to an app, you register the device with the app and right there and then, as soon as you've put the filament in, which is the little plastic uh, tubes that come with it to be able to actually print the products, you can open the app and in there is a whole library of things that you can just immediately print and some of them are actually quite cool. I printed this robot that took about 12 hours and even the joints on it were able to move once it was printed, which I thought was quite amazing. To anyone that's already very experienced with 3D printers, you're probably thinking, wow, this guy is clueless. And I am when it comes to 3D printing. But the whole process to me really did astonish me as to the things that you could actually create. And I went out and I bought loads more filaments. I must admit the Anchor Make ones did seem to create a better finish and um, seem to be a little bit more reliable than the sort of other ones that you can buy off of Amazon. But they did work, um, you know, in the end, just no problem. And I was creating all of these things. Now the great thing was there were certain things that I actually really needed to make. Now I have some like drills and I really wanted a place to be able to hang those up. And to buy those off of eBay, you have to pay, you know, 20 pounds, $20, whatever it is, maybe sometimes even more. So the ability to just be able to print those, use them was fantastic. I printed loads of stuff for the children. They all wanted like little toys and gimmicks and masks and all these other things, which they absolutely loved. And now you can almost gift them as a present um, and you've actually created them, which is great. In addition to that, there was lots of things that I actually really needed. Like I'd lost the battery cover for one of my remote controls for one of the TVs 
found it on a search engine, downloaded it, printed it, and it worked straight away. Absolutely incredible. Now the M5 itself, it is advertised as being extremely fast. I'm not gonna bore you with all the specs, I'll put them all up on the screen because I personally don't know what they mean. Um, very fast, artificial intelligence, camera built right in. This is the first time I've seen a 3D printer with a camera. Now I'm sure there's loads, but this one just works so well. You can connect it to your Mac with an app, you can connect it to Windows with an app, you can bring it up on your phone, you can watch the progress. And now that I've got a bit more knowledge, I know that sometimes these 3D prints just don't work, especially with the third party ones that you download for free off of the internet. So having that little ability to be able to monitor the printer, to be able to look what's going on and even start and stop it and various other bits and pieces is really, really useful because it saves you just letting the thing go off and just print things that are kind of broken. Um, the speed to me looks incredibly fast, like it really does go quickly, but I don't know whether or not that means that it's a quick one in, compared to others or, or how that kind of stuff works out. Like I say, I'll link to the product down below and you guys can uh, check out the specs for yourselves and maybe some of you guys who know a lot about 3D printing, which I know you do, can give some feedback in the comments as to how this one kind of uh, fits in. But all in all, the way that the end result comes out is incredible. The strength of it, the actual quality of it, the smoothness of it, and even the speed to a certain degree. Now I know certain things, like I printed this big mask for example, and that really did take quite a few hours to print. But the end result is absolutely incredible. And when you're creating like little objects, they literally are maybe like a 10 to 20 minute uh, thing. I've created tools for the garden, um, lots and lots of different things. Now, do I use it every single day? No, I definitely don't use it every single day. But like the other day, we had a family party, loads of children came around and my little nephew Bobby is a huge fan of Pokemon. So I quickly came into the office, printed him out a load of little Pokemon characters, took me 15, 20 minutes, and he was absolutely over the moon. So things like that are fantastic. Like I said about the cover for the remote control, uh, the things for my tools, the battery holders that I've also created, all these things, it's, you know, as and when you need something, it's right there and it really does facilitate it. Now what I didn't realize is there's loads of search engines online where you can download all sorts of 3D prints that are already built and you just open them up in the app uh, on the computer and you just print them out. There is USB connectivity, um, so you can do all of that stuff as well. There's a really useful inbuilt screen on the device as well, which you can use to kind of uh, navigate your way around. All in all, what I really took away from this experience is, is 3D printing something you use every single day? For the average person, probably not. Um, do you get like return on your investment? Yes, to a certain degree, if there's things that you actually would have gone out and bought, obviously it's cheaper to make it yourself. The filaments can be extremely cheap. But from the product point of view, the thing that I really was impressed with was just how easy it was to use. It was so simple to set up. It actually looks really smart as well. The ones that I've seen on the internet and in videos, they all look complicated and maybe it's the look of them that has almost put me off because they just look complicated and um, this one looks really nice you know I've got it up on the side it looks smart it looks in place in, a, in an office like mine and um, it is quite loud even when it's just turned on you can hear the fans running uh, and it's quite loud in the background and when it's printing it, it does pick up a little bit of volume so this is not something that you could have like in your bedroom where you sleep or you know if you're in a place where you're trying to concentrate you, you don't really want this going on in the background but again i'm not sure how that compares uh, to other ones i'll put some clips in here as to the exact kind of volume that it comes out at but yeah overall very very impressed now anchor maker also just bought out a less expensive model. I think it's called an M5C, which looks really, really good value for money. The thing I'm really excited about is on their website, I've noticed that they've got a product where you can put lots of different colors in. And to me, that sounds good because there's so many products that I look at and I think, right, I want this part of it white, this part of it blue, this part of it red. And it looks from what I've seen on the website the, that that will give you the ability to do that. But yeah, all in all, super impressed um, with this product. I've really, really enjoyed it and it's nice to have as a little product in your arsenal in order to be able to do and facilitate certain things that you want to do. Things like little stands for your phone, stands for your Apple Watch, loads and loads of stuff. It's, it's also quite a cool thing 
to do. Like when you start searching for things, then you're printing it and you're watching it. It really is good to uh, use and to watch. Will I use it absolutely forever? I, I probably will. I'm hoping that I do. I'm hoping that it doesn't just sit on a shelf and just rot um, because that would just be obviously an absolute waste. But so far, having used it for about six to eight weeks, it's not just been like a few days or anything like that. I have been using it at least every sort of three or four days for something or other. So to me, it's worked out a lot more useful than I imagined it to be, a lot more fun, and most importantly for this particular product, a lot easier. But anyway guys, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I've got so many videos coming up. I've got why do I use six screens? I've got a review of the uh, Mac Pro that I did a video on a little while ago. I've got uh, room tours coming up. I've got some security stuff coming up. I've got loads and loads of stuff coming up. Now that I've got a helper, um, I'm gonna be able to get these videos out a little bit quicker and a little bit more regularly and I really am uh, back on it. So thank you very much for watching. I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.